Hi, I'm Chris Lewis, and I'm with the Robotics and Aut Automation Engineering section at Southwest Research Institute. And I've been working on an internal research and development project where we're trying to uh, use modern 3D sensors to estimate the behavior of people uh, w w that are within the field of view of the sensor. Modern 3D sensors use triangulation to provide not only a color image of the people, but also the distance between the camera and, and all the objects in the scene. The goal was to develop a system that would work in real time to identify uh, particular activities that were customized for the application. Our system consists of two components, the training system and the runtime system. The, with the training system, the user simply records a uh, sufficient amount of video containing all the different kinds of activities that are of interest and then labels when the activities of interest either start or stop. And that information is then used to train a machine learning algorithm to identify those particular behaviors. The runtime system then uses that trained classifier uh, in real time and the data streams coming in from the sensor to identify that there, which activities are occurring in the scene. Under the hood of our activity detection software are two novel techniques, the first of which is a, an automatic clustering algorithm that works on high dimensional data. It does two things. It first determines how many clusters there are in the data and then determines a maximum likelihood model for each of those clusters. The second key development is a new derived feature called a Motron. A large number of variables are required to define a person's position or their pose and their velocity. That's their total body state. However, many body states are very similar to other body states. And a Motron is where those body states tend to cluster. So our clustering algorithm finds these natural clusters in this very high dimensional state of where the body can be posed and then assigns the nearest cluster center to every pose. And that we call a Motron. Typical human activities follow a set sequence of body states. Thereby, they follow a set sequence of Motron values. Okay, for this reason, we can use a histogram over a short time window of the body states that were present in the, in the scene and use that to classify the behavior that's occurring. Our system can be used both in industry and in healthcare uh, facilities to provide an unbiased monitoring of the activities that are occurring.